Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, guys. Uh, today, I was looking to check out this little demo I picked up. Um, so basically, I found this game, Treypang 2, on IndieDB. Indie uh, super, super early on in its development. A guy named Wilson, a uh, solo developer. Uh, Kind of took on this project making the game he wants to make and fair play to him from what i've experienced so far it's been a fantastic game so i'm just going to get in and kind of show you things that i was i've really enjoyed about this game and what it's about at this point in time i think the story i need a bit, a bit of background before we jump into gameplay uh what he's wanting to make it is kind of a, a rogue guy dropped into an area being pursued by special forces um, and then from there it's just you against all of them that kind of story um, be, beyond that I'm not really sure it'll be very interesting to see where he takes this because the bare bones of what he's got right now is excellent like the, the gameplay the mechanics the guns the sound all really well done um so i guess i'll just jump in and start to show you what he's got so far definitely want all of those <laughs> i'll take that uh and i'll take a shotgun as well so you got the, in this demo really i mean obviously you can tell there's no real rendering there's no um it's not much to it basically uh and i just really want to reinforce that this is far from what it will be like. It is just a sandbox demo. Um, let's jump into the ragdoll torture chamber, I reckon. Take this fork spawn. Got this gun. Fork spawn, I reckon. <laughs> I couldn't help it. So you can really see, me, like, I mean, what he's going for here. Gory, first person shooter. Pretty simple concept so far, um, but if you do it well, I mean, what more do you really need? <laughs> uh, I love it. it. It's so, so. Oh, should have reloaded for that. It's so good. With a slow mo, I mean. Is anyone still up? Sorry, mate. Ah! Ooh, I mean, he's just nailed it. Like, the, machine, the sounds are really good. I mean, it's not too loud. down! There's obviously still a lot left to be developed in terms of AI and graphical element. And I think he just kind of wanted to get it out there, kind of start to get a bit of press about his game, start to kind of have people hear about it. Um, but fair play. But he's put, he's put together a pretty good little sandbox demo here. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the whole game, obviously, but what I hope keeps is something like this. Um, where you can kind of just jump in and kick some ass, really, and just kind of blow off some steam. I'm gonna, I am going to go in. Perfect. Um, I feel that really does. A good slow mo really can elevate a game. I mean, the main one that springs to mind is Fear, which uh, after speaking to the, the developer, he uh, he's taken inspiration from games like Fear, Splinter Cell, Doom, uh, all these kind of really early first-person shooters that kind of paved the way for a lot of what we see now. Um, and I think it is going to be a stealth-driven game. 
I think. I think a big aspect of it is going to be to tell. Uh, you can, for example, I'll show you just here. Uh, take a hostage. Oh. Grab an enemy. Squad! Squad! Check in! Sorry, bruh. Just you now, mate. <laughs> Uh, like the gateway, you can blow up the bombs. So they're just a bloody stump. Physics are good. Ragdoll, real nice, bouncing about. Oh, probably. Done that. Get that restarted. <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really good so far. Really enjoying it. I'll show you guys a little of the actual uh, uh, enemy fighting AI he's thrown in. There's not much of it, but you can spawn squads that go against you. I'll spawn the infected first. This is quite a nice little. Wasn't expecting them to have machine guns, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I've played a little bit of this game before this, but not much. Right. Yeah, let's let's step it up a bit, shall we? Little friendly squad there, little teammates. We got contact! Gotta give it to the guy as well, that camera shake is really good fun, like it really, really immerses you into the game. Nice little feature that. Right, fresh squad.
Squad! Squad! Check here! Nice. So, I mean, as you can see, like, what he's built so far is fantastic. I, I hope the fights stay that hectic. Really do. I mean, obviously not all the time, uh, but I hope there's some of that in the actual game. Because fantastic fun. Um, a little aim down sight wouldn't go amiss. Get rid of the right click button as melee and... If he's got that yet. Yeah. Uh, get rid of right click as melee and switch that to down sight would be nice. But like I said, what he's built up so far, I can't find any fault with it. Pretty well. Right, I'll play one more little little, little fight for it's just a bit dark. Be cool to have a level editor as well for this. If that's working on, but that'd be nice. Um, people, people always. I'm a big fan of level editors um, because it gives people the who are really who are more creative than I am the ability to really go to town and make some really interesting stuff. Um, and I just like playing through them. What can I say? Selfish as hell. Cut, cut. Right. <laughs> it my games are too easy so it's kind of hitting that spot on uh all right let's turn it up a little bit I love it, man. I love this sandboxing. It's so much fun. <laughs> oh, it really is excellent. Get a bit carried away, though. I just got to admit. You can really see the fear influence in it. That um, those bullet trails and that slow mo of it.
motherfucker. So I'll leave it there, guys. Um, please go check out this game. Give it some support. Play the demo. Follow the guy on Twitter. Good game uh, so far. <laughs> Don't want to say too much about the finished product, but uh, I will say these mechanics and the base gameplay, spot on. Really good fun. Um, really reminds me of some of the games I played as a kid, so quite nostalgic there. Um, yeah, something I would like to see all the way through to finished product um uh made in the unreal engine yeah go check it out guys uh if you want to see me play this stuff live come follow my twitch uh on uh twitch.tv for slash use reviews uh and then i'll post a finished product of my opinions on the games with some extra gameplay uh without my face Fortunately for you guys, <laughs> uh, for you guys to enjoy, usually on a Sunday, onto my YouTube. Uh, thanks again for dropping by, guys, and I will see you next time.